Octonauts, let's search the area. I'll head right, Quasi. You head left and... I'll stay right here with the penguin. The name's Claude, but my friends call me... The Claw! On account of the fact that I like to crack coconuts open with it. But I'm not a coconut. Ah, sorry. Don't worry, you're not very crackable. <laughs> Hello, darling. Look, there's my wife, Claudette. But her friends call her... The Claw! These here are my sons, Clive, Clem and Clarence. But you can call us... The Claws? Uh, yeah. How did you guess? Yeah, how'd you guess? I want to thank you all for finding this here coconut of ours. It rolled into the ocean days ago, and since we can't swim, we couldn't go after it. Now, if you don't mind, we'll be taking it on home where it belongs. Just drop anchor right there. That's my coconut. Now, hold on, son. This coconut's belonged to us for many years, so it stays with us. Yeah, yeah, it stays with us. But that very same coconut bears the mark of me grandfather, Calico Jack. <gasps> you and Calico Jack are family? Oh, well, uh, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. Thanks. So maybe you'd like to tell me how you ended up with my grandfather's coconut. It was many years ago that Calico Jack washed up on the shores of this here very island. He was shipwrecked and hungry. We nursed him back to health with coconut milk, and in return, he told us rip-roaring tales of the open sea. When we woke, he was gone. No note, no nothing. Just this coconut, which we've been trying to crack open ever since. It's downright embarrassing. I mean, cracking coconuts is what we do. Yeah, it's what we do. Well, we couldn't crack it, and you couldn't crack it. Perhaps if we work together, we can all crack it. Then let's get cracking. You two crack while we pull. One, two, three. The crack! Keep pulling! Tweak, deploy the rescue suction line. Aye, aye, Cap. Those coconut crabs are landlubbers. Those boys can't swim. Then we need to move fast. Tweak, Quasi, Claude, into the Gup X and bring some coconuts. A young sperm whale, and he looks like he needs help. Hello, are you all right? My name is. Don't hurt me. Don't be scared. I'm here to help. Get, get, get away! But I... Show your teeth and do your worst. We're not afraid of a little whale like you. Yeah. Yeah. Sperm whales, we are not here to fight. We are the Octonauts. Captain, it looks like we're outnumbered. Maybe not. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts were surrounded by a pod of angry sperm whales. We've got to work out why and fast. Shellington, take a look. Jumping jellyfish. They're humongous beasts with humongous teeth. Sperm whales don't bite or use their teeth to eat. They sometimes show them to protect their young, but only when they think they're in danger. Oh, 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 Orker! Captain, young sperm whales are afraid of orcas. I don't see any orca. Hmm. Neither do I. But I wonder if. Peso? Me? <laughs> Him? Dashie, send me a picture of a... Orca? Already on it, Captain. Sperm whales, 
there's been a misunderstanding. Peso is not an orca. He's a penguin. You thought he was an orca? <laughs> oh, he is black and white like an orca. But he's tiny. We never had a chance for a proper hello. We are the Octonauts. I hope you're not still scared. Probably. Scaredy Simon is scared of everything. <laughs> Will you dive down with us this time, Simon? Oh, no! Oh. oh, they're right. I'm scared of everything. Especially diving. What's so important about diving? All sperm whales dive deep down in the ocean to find food. Except him. <laughs> I'll never learn to dive. I keep thinking, I can do it, but I can't. It's too deep. Ah, oh, it's deep and dark and scary, but that's what makes it an adventure, me hottie. Ooh. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> this is no reef. Jump! The ghost whale. Ah, I knew it was some kind of trick. Come here, you... Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. What? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're gonna need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus... Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. Oh, I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. <sighs> Vampire squids and sharks. <laughs> I'm not scared of... That's strange. Wait, who's there? <gasps> and what's this? If it's a sea plant, it's a funny looking one. <clears throat> Here's another one. Huh? 
Wait a minute. These aren't plants. They're more like legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. Just like a... Spider! You! You're not gonna believe what I saw back there. It was creepy. It was crawly. It was. It was this big. No, it was bigger than that. It was huge. What was it? A vast. It was a giant spider, and it made a strange noise like this. Thunk, thunk, thunk. But, 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 Captain, I thought you said there were no spiders under the sea. Captain, you've got to see this. There's something big out there, and it looks like it has eight legs. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts. Quasi has discovered a mysterious creature in these unexplored waters. Now it's up to us to find out what it is. I'll give the good bait ready, Cap. And I'll stay here at the octopod to fix something with my tools. Quasi, those were my tools. Quasi, we need you to come along. You're the only one who knows what this creature looks like. What does it look like? The biggest spider I've ever laid me eyes on. A spider? In the ocean? I know, it doesn't seem likely. But whatever Quasi saw out there, we're going to find it. Peso, Shellington, into the guppe. Quasi, are you with us? Hi, Captain. I'm with you. Good. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Captain. See anything, crew? Nope, not yet. It is pretty dark out there. You know you're right, Captain. Why don't we just head back to the octopod and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. Yeah! Yeah! It is the spider! Hello out there. We mean you no harm. <sighs> Fresh air, sunshine and sand. Ah, can't wait to kick off me boots and dig me paws in the sand. It's so quiet and peaceful and... Are you hurt? <laughs> Don't be afraid, little crab. What's wrong? It's my leg. It really hurts. I'm Peso. I'm a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Let me take a look. Uh, right here. Hmm. You need a bandage. Yeah. Good as new. Oh, thanks. That's much better. How did you hurt your leg? I fell off a rock when I was running away from the blob. <gasps> What's the blob? It's a thing that grows bigger and bigger and bigger. How big does it get? So big that it pushed me right off the rock where I live. If you don't get out of the way, it stings you. I got away, but my crab friends are still there, trapped in a hole in the rock. I have to go back and save them from the blob. You won't have to do it alone. We'll help you. Aye, matey. We're not afraid of the blob. Oh, wow. First you fixed my leg, and, and now you're going to help me and my friends. Who, who are you guys? We are the Octonauts. 
barnacles to Dashy. Dashy here, Captain. I'm afraid it's not picnic time just yet. We need to take care of an emergency on the beach first. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll be at HQ if you need us. Don't worry, Tunip. You can still make pudding. Almost to the rock where my friends are trapped. <gasps> there it is. The blob. That's the blob, me hearty. It's a puny little thing. Yeah, but one blob can become two blobs. And two blobs can become four blobs. <laughs> How it gets so big. Look! Flappity flippers. That's where my friends are trapped. Astronauts! <gasps> Yow! The Sea Yeti's got me! Oh! <laughs> I am not a Sea Yeti. I am a Yeti crab. And my name is Klaus. <laughs> a Yeti crab? Whatever you are, matey, you don't smell too good. Sort of like rotten eggs. <gasps> yeah, that is a smell from the hydrothermal vents where I live. <laughs> oh, smells delicious. <laughs> Phew, you live near the hydrothermal vents. Oh, aren't they very hot and dangerous? Not for a yeti crab. Uh, I use the hairs on my arms to catch tiny bits of food coming out of the vents. <laughs> but there is nothing to eat inside this rock, and I am also hungry. This isn't a rock. It's our ship. Your ship? Oh, pardon me. <laughs> we yeti crabs are blind. <laughs> I cannot see a thing. In that case, Klaus, you'd better let us take you back home. Oh, thank you. That would be wonderful. It is almost my dinner time. <laughs> All right, Octonauts. Back to the hydrothermal vents. <laughs> Tweak, the plates are out. I can't stop the ship. Uh, I might have snipped a few things in there. Captain, if we don't stop the gub, we're going to crash into the hydrothermal vents. <laughs> There's no room to turn the gub around. Captain, it looks like the problem is a disconnected wire behind the main control panel. Can you reconnect it, Tweak? Sure thing, Cap. There's just one small problem. The main control panel can only be reached from the outside. There's only one person the right size for the job. <laughs> Me, of course. <laughs> and I even know a shortcut. Shiver, whiskers, there's a jungle out there. I hope it's 
it's not the sea of vanishing octonauts. Don't worry, Peso. We won't get lost in here. With the Gubex's mapping system, we can always find our way back to the octopod. This is where we lost contact with the rover camp. Any sign of it, Tweak? Nope. Nothing yet, Cap. <gasps> There's that sea turtle again. The rover cam was following him when it broke. Let's ask if he's seen it. Yeah, he disappeared again. <gasps> Over there. Let's try and catch up with him. There he goes. Here he goes. <laughs> and Quasi. Tweak to Captain Barnacles. Come in. Cap, Quasi. Oh, it's no use. The radio's broken, too. Tweak, Peso, are you all right? We've lost contact with the rest of the Gup X. You mean it's vanished? No, it's out there. We just need to find it. But first, we need to get the glider moving. Let's go out and check on the damage. <laughs> First things first, Peso. I gotta fix the Gup Connector. Gup Connector? I designed the Gup X so the different sections would always be able to find each other. Once the Gup Connector is working, it'll pull all the other parts of the Gup X back together. Along with the Captain and Quasi. That's right. Now, can you hand me a number nine spanner? Of course. Lost its slimy seaweed. We'll have to pull it out. Who said that? I knew it. This sea is full of ghosts. I thought you said it was full of sea monsters. That too? Oh, dear. Whatever you be, you'd best be gone. I can't. Huh? I'm stuck, very possibly, forever. Oh. <gasps> A loggerhead sea turtle. After us! Bowhead whales. They only live here in the Arctic, so their sounds can't be recorded anywhere else. Look. Howdy, folks. Hello. We're the Octonauts. Pleased to meet you. That's an enormous head, even for a whale. The head of each bowhead whale is as big as a bus. We're not aiming to brag now, but we bowheads do have the strongest, toughest heads in the Arctic. How tough? Tough enough to smash through just about anything. Yow! And we make some pretty big sounds, too. Ready, boys? getting a perfect recording of them. Bowhead whales sing all the time, while they're traveling, playing, even eating. It's how they talk to each other. It's always nice to make new friends out here on the Arctic range, but now we've got to hit the trail. It's feeding time. Come on, giddy up, partners. Bye, Bye now. Take care now. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Yeah, what's that? More whales? It sounds familiar. Narwhals, Captain. Sounds like a call for help. It is. Then we haven't got a moment to lose. Quasi, Peso, to the launch bay. <laughs> It's coming from inside that ice tunnel. Shiver me whiskers, Captain. Look, there's been an avalanche. They must be somewhere behind all that ice. Ahoy in there! Narwhals, are you all right? 
Help us, please! We are trapped in here! We can't get out! <laughs> I know that voice! Boris? Ah! Barnacles, is this you? Yes, old friend. What happened? Me and my two friends, we dove down very, very deep. Everything was good, yes? Until the pack ice moved and trapped us in here. The ice, it is too thick for a narwhal to punch through. <laughs> and we are almost out of air. Then we need to get you out of there now. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Three narwhals are trapped under the ice, and they're running out of air. Jumping jellyfish! Narwhals are whales, and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while, and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first, let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. Just swimming up. <laughs> oh, it, is a, it is a giant crab! Oh, you! What business do you have on our beach? I'm warning you! Stand back! To the tunnels! No sign of the crabs yet. It'll be quite a job finding the octoscope in this mess, Captain. We'd better clear it all away first. Hmm. Look at these tiny balls of sand. Shellington? What do you make of these? It looks like they were made by the fiddler crabs. They put sand in their mouths, eat tiny bits of food from it, and then spit the rest out in little balls. Then we must be near their tunnels. We'll have to be extra careful. Octonauts, let's clean up this beach. Huh. Oh, our beach looks good enough to eat. <laughs> ho, ho. This is no time to eat. This giant cat may not be our friend. Hmm. This seaweed just won't come off. Oh, but look! He's giving us a friendly wave. Hello, bonjour! Bonjour! Maybe this'll get it loose. Aha! That is no friendly hello. That is a challenge. The giant crab thinks he can take over our beach with a snap of his giant claw. Will we surrender our home to this giant nincompoop? No! no. Then, sideways, march! That's better. <clears throat> Octonauts, the beach looks great. Captain, I'm sending you a scan of the beach. I found the octoscope. Hmm, those must be the Fiddler Crab's tunnels. And there's the octoscope, buried in the sand. We'll have to dig it out by hand so we don't disturb their homes. If we start digging right there, and we're very careful to avoid this tunnel... <laughs> hey, giant crab! I saw you with your claw. I accept your challenge. <coughs> I said, I accept your challenge. Huh? You think you can ignore me, you yellow bellied crab pig? Ah! <laughs> Take that! Take that! Take that! Ha! Chop! 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 Oh, and now you try to eat me! Oh, you sorry excuse for a crab! Ah. Shiver me whiskers! It's the fiddler crab! 
scraps. And somehow, they're being chased by the Gup Z. We have to stop it before they get hurt. Uh, ouch! The claw! I'll open the Octo Hatch, Tweak. My good friend, Sandy. Welcome aboard the Octopod. I'm in a bit of a hurry, but I'm so glad I could stop by. How far did you swim to get here? Oh, show us on the map. Well, I swam all the way from there to here. Yes. Yes. Your flippers must be really tired. I'm used to it. Leatherback sea turtles travel farther in the ocean than any other sea turtles. The trick is to find a really fast current. A fast current? Yeah, tell us more. A current is like a river in the ocean that's always moving. I swam in one to get here, and today I'm looking for a really fast one. But what's the big hurry? I have to get back to the beach where I was born so I can lay my eggs there. Hold on. I made something for you. This is a friend finder. I'll put this on your back. And look, there you are. The friend finder helps me find you on the map to see where you're going. Tweak, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. Can someone point me in the right direction? Let's see. If you're going back to the beach where you were born, you should head that way. Gotta go, Octonauts. Thanks for the friend finder tweak. Bye bye. 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 Farewell. Look, there she goes. Hmm, I wonder why she's going that way. That's not the way to the beach. Tweak, zoom in, please. Right away, Cap. It looks like Sandy's caught in the wrong current. And this one is headed straight for that whirlpool. Whirlpool? Yes, a huge, powerful swirl of water that pulls everything downwards. <sighs> Hi. And it can be very dangerous because it's hard to swim out of. Oh no! Captain, Sandy needs our help. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Astronauts! Right now, the turtles are still in their eggs, in nests buried under the sand. I'll show you how they got their tunip. This is a video we took eight weeks ago. The mother sea turtles swim up onto the beach at night to lay their eggs. It's the only time they ever leave the water. And this is the same beach right now. The eggs have been under the sand all this time and should be ready to hatch at any moment. And we get to watch it happen. I can't wait. Ah, uh, nothing's happening, matey. Well, one can never be exactly sure when the eggs will hatch. It could be a few more minutes. Or a few more days. Days? <laughs> Have patience, everyone. I'm sure it'll be well worth the wait. What is it? Oh, are they attaching? No, it's the wave tracker. A really big wave is in the area. It's moving fast and it's heading for the beach. Flippity flippers, what about the eggs? <gasps> They'll be washed away. Chopper! Won't they be safe buried under the sand? Sea turtle eggs are very sensitive. If they get too wet, they'll never hatch. Then we'd better do something. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Astronauts! Are we getting closer? There she is, up ahead. Oh, 
Find a way, Tweak. The whirlpool's coming up fast, Captain. There's no way we can rescue Sandy while we're outside that current. So what do we do? There's only one thing we can do. I was thinking I could use a little swim. Tweak, you steer while Quasi swims into the current. Then, when he grabs Sandy, we'll pull them both out. Got it, Cap. are all safely under the sand. Good work, Octonauts. Ah, I suppose there's nothing left to do now but wait for the eggs to hatch. Yeah, more waiting. I don't think we'll be waiting long, Quasi. Look. They're hatching. Oh, that's wonderful. Maybe not. Sea turtle eggs usually hatch at night when there are fewer predators around to eat them. This beach must be colder than their old beach, which is making them think it's night time. Wow! <laughs> Amazing! Oh, just wow. wonderful! Look at them! Huh? <laughs> You're the little guy that almost got left behind! There you go! Hey! Put that back! I can do it myself! Oh, sorry, matey! Just trying to help! Thanks! But I don't need help! We sea turtles gotta do this on our own! things are, but they sound hungry. Gotta go! He's right. Those seagulls would love to have a baby sea turtle for a snack. Then it's up to us to make sure the turtles make it to the water safely. Vegemals, are there any fish biscuits in the Gup eggs? I'm not very bother. We'll need all the fish biscuits you've got to keep these gulls distracted. Sure, <laughs> Keep it up, everyone. We just have to keep these gulls busy until all the baby turtles are in the ocean. Oh, me, oh, my. One of the baby turtles is going off course. Captain, it's your octocompass. Huh? Baby turtles use light to find their way to the water. The light bouncing off your compass must be confusing him. Keep the gulls away from him! Ha-ha! <laughs> Leave that to me, Captain! Yow! Feeding time, gulls! Take the biscuit! <laughs> ha! Woo! Take that! I'm sorry, little turtle. I didn't mean to confuse you. <laughs> the 
sure are a lot of not turtles on this beach. Oh, so it's you again. Don't worry, I've got you, little matey. Be careful, Quasi. His shell's not fully hardened yet. Then I'll call you Soft Shell. Good name, but could you please put me down? I want to get to the water all by myself. That's what we turtles do. There you go, Soft Shell. Just a little further. Thanks. Now no more helping me. I'm almost... <laughs> oh, no, you don't. That's enough. Oh, sounds like my friend is using her sonar to find me. Oh, that's not a whale. That's the octopod. Hey, wait a minute. You don't want to go that way. My friends, this way. No. Whoa. She must be that way. Wait! Wait! Ooh, that sounds like my friend. Where are you? Now for the biggest job of all. The water tanks have to be flushed out and then refilled. Here we go. Oh. Do you need some help? <laughs> there you go. That's better. Thanks for the muscle, Captain. Oh dear. Now my friend sounds as if she's in trouble. I've got to help her. Don't worry. Ah. I'm on my ah. way. I think all the noise from the octopod is confusing my gigantic whale friend. Hey, big fella! Um, Captain, the radar shows that something's heading towards the octopod. Something big and fast. It looks like it's gonna hit us. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's a big blue whale, Captain. A blue whale? Blue whales are the biggest animals that have ever lived, Captain. It would be a disaster if one of them hit us. Quasi, you've got to stop him. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. But all of this noise is... Um, Captain... I think we have another problem. There's something else coming towards us from the other direction. It must be the blue whale's friend. If they hit the octopod, they're going to hurt themselves and us. Hmm. Blue whales are big, but gentle. Why would they head straight for us? After us! Quasi, when we find the whale shark, here's our plan. We'll need to open its mouth to slip in and get dashy. But first, I'll confuse the beast by leaping all around like a heap of spaghetti. Meanwhile, I'll slither through your spaghetti. Captain, Quasi! <gasps> Captain, behind you! It's the... Whale shark! You never got to leap around like spaghetti, did you? No, I got sucked in like a wet noodle. Dashy! Dashy! Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh. The tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. Tiptoe. 
This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. Way! <laughs> These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashy could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This wall feels all spongy-like. The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. Looks like it kept Dashy's hair clipping. But Dashy must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <laughs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? I guess not. <gasps> Don't roar at me. That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Everything looks fine in the ear. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. Astronauts! I hear it, but I don't see anything. <laughs> Righto. Whoa! Oh, flappity flippers, what's that? Hmm, I believe it's a hermit crab. Not dangerous, but very unhappy at the moment. Right, time for a checkup. Hello. My name is Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. Can you tell me your name, please? Get me out. OK, Mr. Get me out. Now, this won't hurt a bit. Oh, my name's not Get me out. I want you to get me out of this shell. I'm... Oh, stop! Oh! Ow! Oh, it's no use. Here. Maybe I can pull you out. No! Oh, ow, that hurts! Sorry. Oh, I told you it was no use. Don't worry. We'll get you out of that shell somehow. I know someone who can help us. What do you think, Tweak? I'll cut open a shell with my octo slicer, and he'll be free easy as pie. Uh, here. Uh, now, what are you doing? We're going to remove the shell for you. We'll just cut it open and... Stop! Please, stop! Oh, hello. Stop? Why? Listen, I'm almost too big for the shell I'm in. I need a new one, and that shell is just right, just right! It may be too small for him, but it's a perfect size for me. He's not the only hermit crab around here, you know. <laughs> oh, well, let's get on with it. If you cut that shell in half, it'll be ruined, ruined! I'll never find another one like it, and believe me, I've looked. If you don't mind my asking, why do you keep changing shells anyway? Oh, because hermit crabs can't grow their own shells, so we borrow the shells of other animals for protection. We move into one shell. Grow up, get bigger. And then move to a bigger shell. So what can we do, Tweak? Maybe I could just cut off the shell and then try to glue it back together. That's too risky. I think we need a new plan. Captain, we have one hermit crab who needs to get out of his shell and another who wants to get in. We have to safely remove the crab from its shell. There's only one thing to do, Peso. We have to perform a crabectomy. Captain, 
I've never performed a crab me before. Even when I was in medical school. Just watch out for those pinchy claws. I'll talk you through the whole operation. I had to perform an emergency crab me once in my polar bear cub days. Righto. And I promise we won't damage that shell. Wait, please. I'm Shellington, and this is Dashi. We are the Octonauts. We might be able to help you. Have to breathe. Have to breathe. What are you doing all the way out here, under the pack ice? The water froze over us. We have to stay near this hole. But why do you need the hole? Have to breathe. Have to breathe. But why can't you just swim back out to the open water, where there isn't any ice? Too far away. Can't swim that far without breathing. Have to stay near the hole. Shellington, what do you make of this? The belugas are trapped. There's ice all around them and only a small hole where they can come up to breathe. And this hole is starting to freeze over too. It's getting smaller and smaller. We have to rescue those belugas right away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to lead the belugas back to open water where there's no ice. But we need something that can cut a path through the ice so that they can breathe along the way. Yeah, what about the sonic slicers? They're too slow. We need to act fast before the beluga's Whoa. breathing hole freezes over. Just the thing, Cap. Okay, Tweak. Let's see if your icebreaker attachment works. The ice isn't breaking. Pack ice is really thick. It takes a lot to break it. Yes! Way to go! <laughs> yeah! Shiver me whiskers! You did it! Open water. Astronauts! The name's Lenny, and my shell is hard enough to protect me for now, but this thing's getting really heavy. Don't worry, Lenny. We are the Octonauts, and we'll get you out safely. You may want to pull your head and flippers into your shell just to be safe. Oh, wish I could. We long-ahead sea turtles can't hide inside our shells. Our heads and flippers are too big. Then we'll have to be extra careful. Come on, Quasi. One, two, three, lift! Lift! I'll have this gub connector fixed faster and you can see a bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Number two spanner, please. Number five screwdriver. Number three carrot. What's that? <gasps> the slimy seaweed monster, just like in Quasi's story. Hold on, that's not a monster. It's our rover cam. I'll be right back, Tweak. A week? Nah, it won't take a week. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. <laughs> Come back here, you! <laughs> Should do it. The gub connector is working, Peso. I'll have the gub eggs back together in no time. Huh? Peso? Yeah, got you! Uh oh. Tweak! Come in, Tweak! Can you hear me? One more time, Quasi. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, dear. 
dear. It's hopeless. This ship isn't going anywhere. And neither am I. We're not giving up, Lenny. Yow! The gub's moving all by itself! Tweak must have repaired the gub connector. If we follow the glider, we'll find our way back. Lenny, are you all right? I suppose so, thanks to my extra hard shell. <laughs> Ow! Oh, my flipper! It hurts from being wedged in those rocks. I can't swim in this condition. You'll just have to leave me here, I suppose. Oh, dear, dear, dear. You need to see our medic. Hey, so, come on, we'll carry you. Hello, Tweak! Hello! Where are you? Whoa! Flappity flippers, the octo ski. Tweak fixed the gub connector. Wait for us. Whoa! 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 Hey, so you found my rover cam. Thanks. You're welcome. And there's the rest of the gub eggs. Right on schedule. Look, it's Captain Barnacles and Quasi. And the Loggerhead Sea Turtle is with them. Oh no, he's hurt. After us! All right, everyone, let's take this nice and easy. These crabs are a long way from home, and they're probably a bit scared. Hey, up, it's another of those furry things. Don't worry, little crabs. It's time to come with me. Aha! Nice and easy. Hello, I'm Peso, and I'm soaking wet. I, I forgot to tell you, Peso. They squirt water when they feel threatened. Leave us alone. Oh! Get me brother onto you. I can get away. Oh. Captain, we've been trying to catch the crabs all evening and we haven't caught a single one. Aye, these little mateys are quicker than I thought. It's getting dark. We'll have to try again tomorrow with the whole crew. Good morning, Octonauts. Everyone ready for a bit of crab catching? Aye, aye. Yes, really. Captain. We'll round them up faster and you can see a bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. Remember, these crabs are extra fast, so we'll need to be quick. Got it? Got, Got it. it. This could take a while, so if you need a break, Tulip and the Vegemals have set up a seaweed snack station. Super, super. Super. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Sounds like Tunip. Tunip, is everything all right? Shiver me whiskers. It's the marine iguanas. <laughs> Funny running into you here. Yeah, imagine that. Piggy, <laughs> Ted, Sneezy, aren't you a little far from home? Ooh, not a little, a long way from home. Same song. Incredible. Let me try. Hang on, that's new. Maybe they got tired of the old song. No, I mean, it sounds different. I've never heard a voice like it before. Maybe these whales have, Dashie. Good idea, Captain. Excuse me, humpback whales. Yes? 
Sorry to interrupt your journey, but we just wondered if you'd ever heard a song like this before. Uh, no, not heard that before. It doesn't even sound like a humpback. The singing doesn't match anything in the Octopod sound collection. Whatever's making that noise, there's nothing like it in the ocean. This could be an entirely new species of whale. Or an entirely new species of sea monster. Well, there's only one way to find out. Octonauts, it's time to investigate. I'm picking up something big on the tracker. Very big. It should be on the other side of this reef. Ah, there's nothing here. No, but I thought I saw something. Me too. Something big. The trick is still saying it's up ahead. Then let's go, mateys. It's gone again. I get the feeling it doesn't want to be disturbed. Let's go forward gently this time, so we don't scare it. Whatever it is. You hear that? It sounds so sad. Like the world's loneliest sea monster. Or the world's loneliest whale. That's a humpback whale. But his voice is like no humpback I've ever heard. I think he's looking for food. He's a young one and he looks very skinny, Captain. Then he might need our help. Activate helmets. Hello there. That's a very interesting song you're singing. Oh, thanks. It's my I'm hungry song. My name's Joe, by the way. Are you on your own, Joe? Yep, I'm pretty much always on my own. I guess the other humpbacks kind of don't understand my singing. Captain, Joe is far from the summer feeding grounds. Without the other whales to show him the way, he won't have enough to eat. Joe, why don't you come with us to our octopod and we'll see if we can help you. I don't suppose there's any food at this here octopod. I'm kind of hungry. Absolutely. Follow us. Right behind you. 